Well, I can already predict that I'm going to get some dislikes and some uh, some bad comments from this one. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to M for Movies. Well, it is time for another 4K review. Uh, this is a, um, a very popular, universally popular movie from uh, from 20, uh, 2019. And that is uh, Parasite. All right, so in this review, I will be looking at the the picture quality as well as the as the audio quality, uh, and then and then the special features. And I will be specifically uh, looking at the looking at the 4K here. All right, so when it comes to the uh, to the picture quality, um, I think the picture quality is is just pretty good. Uh, there's not a lot of like standouts, as in you know, you, you know, details of, uh, of, uh, of, of clothing and, 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 and skin and, and hair. You can't see like single strands of hair or anything like that. Some of the stuff that I do like is the, is the attention de to details in the, uh, in the walls and, and, uh, and, uh, you know, interiors of the, uh, of the houses. And, and homes and whatnot. You know, the majority of those, uh, majority of the locations were actually, you know, you know, made, you know, on set, um, and uh, specifically for the movie. And you can clearly tell that uh, in the walls and, and, and stuff like that. So that is one aspect of of the picture quality that I really like the best. Uh, you can also see. You can also tell uh, the big difference in in uh, in uh, you know you know classes of the two. Of the two family, uh, um, in the very in the very beginning, uh, their the family's uh, sub sub level uh, home. Uh, you can see all the uh, all the grunginess, all the messiness of, of of the of the habitat of where they live. Uh, you could especially see that up in the uh, when they had the the bathroom and the toilet was up high. You can see all all the uh, all the uh, surrounding that uh, that uh, area, and so you could really you could really uh, see and tell or see that aspect of of the movie, uh, and then and then the direct opposite of that, just how just just how clean, how 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 open uh, the uh, the uh, the rich family's uh, place was. In that way, I mean, this is a lot. This is kind of like a like a darker movie this isn't really like a bright movie uh so it's not so it's not a you know like a colorful type of a uh, type of movie maybe like the outside when you have the uh, uh when you have the uh the uh the grass and stuff like that um that's that that lends to the uh to the brightness of this movie uh but otherwise it's not it's not you know uh uplifting uh type of type of uh picture quality all in all, uh, uh, with the picture quality, uh, I would probably go with with about with about a seven out of ten. Seven out of ten sounds good enough for it. Also, this uh, the uh, the uh, picture itself is is in a ratio of a two point three nine. So of course you get black bars on top and the bottom, so like that. All right. So when it comes to the audio, this one was actually presented in a uh, a Korean uh, Dolby Atmos. Uh, French Dolby Digital 5.1 uh, surround. Uh, it also included subtitles in both English and French. So, quite, quite frankly, uh, when it came to uh, Spanish reviewers and all that, this movie was pretty much just like a big old f you. We don't care if you can't understand this movie. So, so, so we're gonna keep, we're gonna keep the Spanish audio out, and we're gonna keep the uh, Spanish subtitles. Out of this movie altogether, and and both and both the Blu-ray in uh, the 4K have that element. Now I don't know if the Criterion, because there's a Criterion of this too, uh, has that has that extra um, audio and subtitle to it. So I don't really know. So when it comes to the actual audio part, um, you can you can hear uh, all the dialogue. Uh, it's it's very it's very clean dialogue. It moves the movie 
very very well. There's no there's not too many you know like uh, like slow parts with the dialogue, but but this is a very dialogue uh, driven movie. So so something like a movie that I think is 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 superior to this, a Korean movie that's superior to this is is Train to Busan. Uh, now even though Train to Busan is a totally different genre uh, with uh, with uh, horror and zombies, uh, I think that the less dialogue for me when it comes to a fully uh you know you know uh, uh korean uh language track is 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 best uh for me to actually enjoy uh the movie all right kind of get what i'm saying i thought that the i thought that the uh the the music didn't really like pow or anything it was like oh my goodness that sounds really great uh the one element that I really enjoyed about this was the sound effects, actually. Uh, the sound effects, such as the, the, the characters uh, walking around on the, on the steps, on the floor, you could literally hear every single footprint, every single step. It really did work well there. And there was a lot of um, uh, sound effects that you, can, uh, that you uh, pinpointed also. So... So I loved, loved, loved that aspect of the of the Dolby Atmos uh, track, and uh, yeah, it it sounded really great. Um, so because of that, I am actually going to we're going to do an eight on the audio. Um, I I I don't think it was I don't think it was outstanding, but I'm going to do an eight out of ten on the audio. All right. So when it comes to all the special stuff, all the special features with the slipcover that it does have, so it's a pretty uh, it's a pretty standard slipcover. There's no there's a little bit of emboss uh, up on the up on the 4K uh, Ultra HD uh, uh, label here, but everything else is not. Um, so so it's pretty typical there. Uh, artwork mimicking the uh, front cover, uh, so that is a plus. That it's a that it's a, it's a 4K with actual art artwork on the disc. The special features is kind of it's kind of bare bones. So if you really want special features, you probably got a whole lot uh, in the Criterion. I, I haven't uh, been able to uh, to uh, to to look up exactly what what the Criterion has. Uh, but uh, but Criterion tends to have a lot of special features. Um, so so we have a Q&A with the director, Bon John uh, Ho. It's from um, Fantastic Film Festival, I want to say. Uh, when I started playing it, I'm like, okay, this is, it's an okay Q&A. But I was also like, well, how long is this? And then, and then I was significant enough that it was only 19 minutes long. So I was like, Thank goodness, because if it was an hour, I probably would have shut it off halfway through. That's just my opinion there. Uh, there's also two two trailers that's included uh, for the, for the Parasite movie. Uh, also on the 4K itself, uh, before the movie starts up, it has the uh, trailer for uh, Portraits of a Woman on Fire, which I haven't seen yet, uh, so I probably need to check that out sometime. Uh, I think it's on Hulu right now. But uh, uh, and then on the and then on the Blu-ray, uh, it's got a few other uh, uh, trailers uh, uh, ahead of the movie itself too. So all in all, uh, with with the special features uh, itself, uh, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give the special features, uh, including the slipcover. You know what? I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it a um, a five a five just because. You get that little bit of an insight on uh, on uh, you know you know with the Q and A and some of that, and and most people will probably generally like that. So it was a good thing that it at least gave us something. You know, breakdown. We have the picture quality is a seven. It's just pretty good. Uh, I've seen a whole lot better. Eight for the audio. I really like the audio, especially with the all the sound effects. Uh, so that is fifteen. And then we have a five on the special features. Uh, and so we are going to slice that in three. And so I have a grade of a 6.2 out of a 10 uh, for this 4K itself. This was only the second time that I've seen this movie uh, ever since I saw it for the first time uh, in, in theaters. Uh, and so for the movie, I'm actually going to drop down to about 8 out of 10. I don't think it's as, I think it's a bit overrated, and I don't think it's the, and I don't think it's the masterpiece 
that 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 everybody sees it as. I, I must I must see a completely different movie. Uh, but that being said, it it is kind of well deserving for all the Oscars uh, that that it won, uh, and it's pretty significant for a, for for a breakthrough of a of a of a foreign movie. So there you go. There is my uh, there is my review for uh, for Parasite. How you can pick up this 4K? Let's let's go over some of the prices. Uh, I don't really generally need, need to look at my phone because most places, Amazon, Walmart, and Target, you can get it for 16.99. Now most places you probably have to get it online, uh, but 16.99 for this 4K. This 4K does come with a uh, with the Blu-ray and a digital, so you can share the digital off to uh, to uh, you know other people. Or throw it in your digital library. I already gave away the digital uh, to a uh, uh, to one of my uh, subscribers during a live stream. Uh, and uh, Best Buy's is seventeen ninety nine. So Best Buy is asking for an extra dollar from you. Do I recommend you pick this up? Quite frankly, this movie is hugely popular. So so you have you already own this movie. In some form or or whatever, either it, it was either the DVD, the Blu-ray, the 4K, the Criterion, uh, and or or whatnot. So you probably already have it. So um, this review has been going on way too long. So that is just my quick review for the 4K of Parasite. Thank you everybody for watching. Give this video a like. You can dislike it if you want, but uh, but still, uh, let me know. Let me know your thoughts on Parasite in the comments down below. Uh, and uh, I really doubt that I'm going to watch this again for quite some time. We'll talk to everybody later, and uh, take care. Bye-bye.